Good morning, guys. So late last night, I was tempted to stay up because I got an idea for a, ba a project. <laughs> but, you know, that happens. Let's see if I can straighten the camera out just a little bit. There we go. All right, so I wanna make a crossbody bag. So by the time you guys see this, I'll be back, but we're going on a little trip. We're gonna be doing actually more traveling in the future, um, near and far, and I want sort of a handmade like bag to take with me, some kind of crossbody bag um, that fits up on my chest close. And um, I thought, well, why not just make one? I have a bunch of these hexagons and I'm always trying to think of other projects to do with them. And I think I thought of one. So I want to do a version of the Granny Square crossbody bag. I'll try to put some links down in the video description. I know Passionate Kelsey has made a couple of them, but I wanted to um, do one out of hexagons. So I played this morning with my hexagons and what shapes would work. And I initially took a bunch of hexagons and went like this, and I went, okay, that's just way too big. But what if I fold this one in half, and then this one in half, and then this one in half, and then I take some half hexagons. Whoops. What if I sewed that together? So, if you take this one, which is the center bag bottom, and what I did was I sewed two half hexagons on opposite edges like that. Then I took some more hexagons and I sewed it starting here, all the way down to here. Then I turned it and sewed it all the way to there. Once that one was on, I did the same thing to the other side with another one. And then I went around the top of the bag with some single crochet, just one row for now. And I ended up with this. I like that. So now I want to, of course, put a zipper. I'm going to put a lining and a strap. I have this thrifted belt that I wasn't sure why I picked it up at the time. Where and it's, I believe it's leather. We're going to use it as our strap. So anyway, first we're going to make a lining and we're going to put the zipper in the lining and we're going to put some D-rings in the lining and then we will attach the belt to the D-rings. Um, yeah, all right, so I pulled out some white cotton from my stash. So I am going to find the end somewhere. I buy lots of uh, like bed sheets and stuff from the thrift store and I use them for projects like this. It's a great way to get a big giant piece of fabric for very inexpensive. Okay, all right. So I think it's easiest if I just don't try to cut anything on the fold. do something like that. Uh, I gotta reach my uh, rotary cutter. Here we go. Okay. So I'm gonna just rough cut. Like that. Yep. So we will sew down the two sides, oops, you can't see, down the two sides and across the bottom. And um, then we will give the top a little bit of a trim and put, the, put a zipper in. Um, and I'll use the leftover bits to create some sort of loops for a D-ring. So let me do that and show you what I'm talking about and I'll be right back. Okay, I just roughly fit that in, but that does fit very well. Yep. 
Okay, we do obviously need to trim a bit off the top, so we are going to do that. I'm going to mark it with a pen. About there. There. Okay. Line those blue marks up. And the bottom here. Okay, and where the heck did I put my ruler? There we go. My table is such a mess, you guys. You have no idea. Okay, so put this on a straight line, which is one of the reasons my table has a grid on it, in case you all ask. I'm going to leave about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. works. So now I'm going to finish the top by surging it so it doesn't unravel. And then let me go find a zipper. I'm sure I have one. I've got a drawer full of zippers. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So the lining is all sewn together. I folded the zipper tape under and stitched these D-rings. It's not the neatest job on the planet, but it's not going to show when all is said and done. Um, and I used some zipper tape that I had so that I could put a double zipper on it. So now I'm going to fit it into the crocheted part, sort of like that. I'm going to fold the zipper down and I'm going to hand sew it to the crochet. I'm going to sit over in the corner in my chair and I'm going to do that. Now when I do do that, I will probably take these D-rings and poke them out like that so that I can hide this but I still have the D-ring sticking out because that's where the handle is going to go. So, and when you do like this granny square, granny stitch, like that's a one of the benefits. You can just like do that. So, let me get that sewn together and I'll be right back. Okay, it's in. All right, so I got it in and the lining is stitched down. Now when you do the, in my opinion, when you do the bag this way, the weight of what you put in the bag is on the cotton and the strap and the crochet is de just decorative. And honestly, that's how I prefer because I have a tendency to overload my bag. So there's that. Also, the inside lining is going to be like wrinkly. I didn't iron anything. I didn't stitch it to the crochet. It's only attached at the top. This is totally fine with me. When I put things in it, it's going to be good. So now I left this yarn attached because I'm not done with a single crochet edging. So now I'm going to go around it one or two more times with single crochet. I may st stitch these together, maybe. I'm not actually sure yet. I might just leave it. Um, but I'm going to do a couple more rows of this and then um, cut the yarn off and weave in the end. And then we will attach the strap. somehow. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, it's all done. So, I it took a little bit of doing because this is a belt to get the little thing off. I didn't get it off completely, but that's okay. I did crochet this little like puffy thing right there to detract from it. I did sand it down a little bit so it's not so sharp, but it fits really well. I'll insert a picture here somewhere and I really love the way it turned out. So anyway, hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. Please check out the video description for relevant links. Um, I'll put Cat Passionate Kelsey's channel um, as one of those links. Um, very talented young lady. And anyway, that's it for today. Please um, think about supporting the free content here on YouTube by joining my Patreon or um, buying some of my stamp designs over at either Rubber Moon or at Art Foamies. I sure would appreciate any of those. And uh, yeah, that would be really fabulous. I do have ready con uh, contact uh, on the daily with my patrons and supporters. Uh, they can reach out to me uh, anytime they need to. Um, so if you want to be involved in that, 
join my Patreon. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do um, when you want to or need a new bag. Just create one. Have fun with it. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.